A historic class of House freshmen with both major political parties represented have arrived in Washington, D.C. this week for orientation on the nuts and bolts of the unique job they have been elected to. In our D.C. Bureau, Ian Solomon has the story. Just last week, Greg Stanton was former mayor of Phoenix. Today in Washington, D.C., he's gearing up to serve Arizona with a new title, congressman elect. Excited to be here. First day of uh, orientation and uh, we're going to change Washington in a very positive way and today we start. Stanton is one of 86 new members of the 116th Congress starting orientation here in Washington and while getting his new Capitol Hill credentials is great, he says he's more excited about getting to work on key issues. Uh, you can't represent Arizona without being a supporter of comprehensive immigration reform, particularly a DREAM Act. So I want to be involved. I want to be at the table uh, as we finally do get comprehensive immigration reform uh, passed. That may not be a long shot now that Democrats have secured a House majority for the first time in eight years. Congressman Tom O'Halloran, who's been here when Democrats were in the minority, pointed to some of his own bills he hopes will pass. Not because Democrats will force it, but because having the upper hand can foster bipartisanship. Once you have the ability to sit at a table and have leverage, uh, both parties have to come to an agreement one way or the other. And just having the opportunity to be at the table is, in Stanton's own words, awesome. And, uh, you know, as a kid who grew up in West Phoenix in a working class family over by Metro Center, uh, my dad sold shoes at JCPenney for 35 years. To have the opportunity now to represent my community in Washington, D.C., try to do what's right for Arizona or for the United States of America, that's an awesome thing. I'm Congresswoman elect Ann Kirkpatrick is also considered a new member, despite the fact that she's already served two terms in the House. We'll be sure to keep up with both of these new members in the coming days. In Washington, Ian Solomon. Cronkite News.